Happy Tuesday, first graders. Berry Buddies, I miss you guys so much. I can't even tell you I'm so excited that I'm coming back to school soon. But hey, it is the first day of December. This is the month where we celebrate Grinch Day, where we get to make gingerbread houses, where we get to travel all over the world and, and learn about the different holidays and how people celebrate them. And it's the month where we celebrate Christmas, too. Um, speaking of traveling all the way around the world, though, I wanted to tell you, when Mrs. Kristen Mary was in college a long, long time ago, I traveled to a place called Zambia, and it's on the continent of Africa. If you have heard of Africa before, give me a thumbs up. Some of you have, some of you haven't, that's okay. If you've ever watched the movie Madagascar, that is about a... Um, country, <laughs> almost I'd say about a country in the continent of Africa. So Mrs. Chris and Mary traveled all the way, like halfway across the world to Zambia and I taught in a teacher's conference there and I also got to do something called vacation Bible school with some kids. Now the thing that amazed me about these kids is they really didn't have much at all. Like they lived in these tiny little huts they didn't have running water, they didn't have toilets in their house, but they were the happiest kids ever. But something that they absolutely loved to do was play soccer. Now, if they didn't have running water, if they didn't have beds, if they didn't have toilets in their house, do you think they had soccer balls? They didn't have soccer balls, but they played soccer. They actually used something that they had at home and made a soccer ball. They took plastic bags, like if you would go to Walmart or if you would go to Meyer and those bags that you put all of your items in, they wadded those up and tied them all together and then they made a soccer ball out of it. I have some pictures of some friends from Zambia. His name is Oscar. It's Oscar in both pictures. He's younger here and he's older here. But those are some friends from Zambia. So if you can imagine, they lived in this dirt, like they didn't have roads, it was just dirt. And they would play soccer with plastic bags. Well, yesterday, first grade friends, we talked about um, how to use a number line to help us if we are adding all the way up to 20. Well, what happens if you don't have a number line? Just like what happens when these kids didn't have their own soccer ball? So Mrs. Kristen Berry wants to talk to you today about something called an open number line. And an open number line simply means a number line that you create. It's open. It's really just kind of a line right here you can see. So I want to show you how we can make a number line when we don't have anything at all, just a blank piece of paper. So this is the problem that says four plus seven equals. I'm gonna zoom you in so that you can see four plus seven. And what I'm gonna do, instead of starting at four, is I am going to draw four and then I'm going to draw seven more lines because I'm adding seven. So count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So I drew my four and then I drew seven more lines so that I can add seven. Now let's count on from four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I landed on 11. Was there actually 11 there? No, we had to be creative. We had to do some thinking together. But I know that it's 11 because I drew seven more dashes. Four plus seven equals 11. Let's try another one together. This is the problem 11 plus six. So the first thing that I'm gonna do if I don't have a number line is draw an 11. Then how many dashes am I going to draw? That's right, six. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. I drew my six dashes. Now I'm going to count on from 11. So starting on 11, let's keep counting. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I landed on 17. Was there actually a 17 there? No, but when I counted on from 11 with six more, I knew the answer was 17. Let's try two more together. Who can read this like a mathematician? Right now I want you to whisper and read this like a mathematician would. That's right, 
9 plus 4 equals. So I'm going to start with 9. How many dashes will I draw if I started at 9? Remember my problem says 9 plus 4. How many dashes will I draw if I start at 9? That's right. I will draw four dashes. Count with me. One, two, three, four. Now notice when Mrs. Chris and Mary draws her dashes, I put some spaces so that it's easier for me to hop and to count as I'm counting. We're going to count on from nine. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. In my imaginary number line, I landed on thirteen. One more together. Read this like a mathematician would. Read it and then give me a thumbs up once you have done that. That's right. It says 8 plus 6. What number am I going to automatically write on my number line? You've got it, Spartans. Today I'm going to write 8. How many dashes am I going to put on my open number line? That's right, I'm gonna put six. Remember, we're gonna space them out. Count with me and let's add six dashes to our open number line. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't need to start all the way here. I already have my eight, so let's count on from eight. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. To read that like a mathematician, I would say 8 plus 6 equals 14. Today, some of you are going to continue practicing using a normal number line, and some of you are going to take the extra challenge of trying to create your own open number line. So whether you use the number line on your desk or whether you're creating an open number line for yourself to use, remember, you start with your number and add that many dashes, and that's how you can use your open number line to help you solve problems. Today you'll log into Seesaw. Some of you have one page to go over. Some of you have two pages. When the timer is done or when your substitute teacher tells you it's time to put math away, submit whatever you have so that Mrs. Kristen Berry can see all the hard work that you've done. Today you will use an open number line or a number line to help you solve addition problems within 20.